Interior CS Fred Matiangi has assured Kenyan ambassadors deployed to a mission worldwide that his ministry has put necessary measures to ensure the country carries out a peaceful election. Speaking while holding a meeting with the ambassadors, Matiangi also said the government is not planning to interfere with the coming election, but instead facilitate IBC to conduct free and fair elections. As the country gears itself towards the August polls, Interior CS Fred Matiangi has assured Ambassador Stenia that the country is well prepared to carry out peaceful elections come August. All we are doing is encouraging our fellow citizens, our brothers and sisters who are political players to be mindful of the country, to be mindful of the citizens of this country, to keep the peace, to campaign very peacefully and respect uh, you know, the rule of law. That, that, that's all. And on our part as a, a national security agent, we are doing everything we can to provide the support that our colleagues need uh, as they move around in their campaigns, in their motivation of voters, and in their contact with Kenyan voters as we prepare for election day. Matiangi also allayed fears that the government will shut down the internet during the August elections. The CS said his ministry is committed to facilitating the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission to hold free and fair elections. We are ready to play our supportive role. And our supportive role is to enable the IBC deliver a free, fair and uh, credible election. And uh, the request or whatever we have been told to do in terms of security deployment, I have confirmed to them, as I have done to the country before, that we have sufficient resources in terms of personnel. We have created an integrative framework where we are working across on a multi-agents framework with other agencies to support the IBC to deliver uh, on the elections. Matiangi also called on the political class to be mindful of what they say not to incite Kenyans to violence. Thank you, Brian Mwai. And Kenya has continued to experience an upsurge in the tally of coronavirus cases.